welcome you all to part one of nuclei that is characteristics of nucleus the first question arises here why we need to study about the nucleus the sunlight what we receive is due to nuclear reaction that takes place inside the sun even the destruction of life is possible due to nuclear reaction which takes place inside the nuclear bomb many of the diseases in hospitals are cured by the nuclear phenomena that takes place in certain nucleus even the electricity can be generated from the nuclear reaction that takes place in the nuclear reactor because of these reasons we need to study about the nucleus and let us start our journey with the nucleus itself right nucleus is present inside an atom if we consider atom as the size of a cricket stadium the nucleus is the size of the cricket ball do you understand how much small is this nucleus is at the center core of the atom which consists of 99.99% of the mass do you understand it consists of 99.99% of the mass and the entire positive charges are present inside the nucleus itself so let us define nucleus nucleus is the central core of an atom which consists most of the atoms and entire positive charges do you remember since more entire positive charges are present inside the nucleus itself nucleus is positively charged and what does the nucleus consists of nucleus consists of protons and neutrons protons are positively charged particles neutrons are neutral in charge and both together we can call it as nucleons nucleons are the particles present inside the nucleus either it may be proton or it may be neutrons so what are the particles present inside the nucleus that can be called as nucleons right in general nucleus can be represented as x a z so z is a number which is written at the bottom is atomic number so what is number it is atomic number is the number of protons present inside the nucleus when we speak about mass number it is also number it is the number of nucleons present inside the nucleus do you remember this is atomic number and this is mass number the number of neutrons can be calculated by a minus z a minus z gives number of neutrons if we consider one particular example that is uranium nucleus uranium here we can write it 92 here it is 235 what does 92 represents it represents the number of protons that we tell you that is 92 what does 235 represents it represents all the particles present inside the nucleus that is number of nucleons that is the same but mass number that is 235 let me write it as nucleons is 235 so how do you get the number of neutrons by subtracting that is 235 minus 92 that is how much do you get to get 143 143 is the number of neutrons present inside the uranium nucleus now let us move further if you want to measure the mass of an atoms on nuclear kg is very big quantity that's why we will be moving with the alternate unit that is atomic mass unit then how much is atomic mass unit if we consider the carbon 12 atom and if we divide it equally by 12 parts the mass of single part of that gives atomic mass unit so let us define it. atomic mass unit is defined as 1/12th of mass of one atom of carbon 12 isotope if you calculate the mass of one atom of carbon divided by 12 we will be getting with a number that is 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg and we we use mass spectrograph spectrometer to measure the mass of the atoms of the nuclear atom What is one a mu? Do you remember? This is the number. What we got? One point six six newton raised to minus twenty seven kg. Because whenever we study about the atoms and nucleus, the masses will be in a mu. If you want to convert into kg, you need to know this relation. Do remember one a mu is equal to one point six six into ten raised to minus twenty seven kg. Now let us move on to the next concept. That is isotopes, isobars, and iso. Tops, right? So, what are isotopes? Iso is nothing but same. Top is nothing but place. Where? Where is the same place? Inside of your periodic table, these isotopes will be having at the same place, means same element, right? Okay. So, what are isotopes? These are the nuclei having same atomic number. 
but different mass numbers. Let us take one example about the hydrogen itself right here. H11, H12, H13. We can call this as isotope. This is hydrogen, this is deuterium and this is tritium. And this, these are the isotopes of hydrogen. Right? Same atomic number but a different mass number. Right? Let us move to the next one. That are isobars. It is just a reverse of that right here. It is having the same mass number but different atomic number. Whenever we have different atomic number, we will be having different elements. So the example for this hydrogen and helium, let me take hydrogen 1, 3 and helium 2, 3 now here, right? Mass numbers are same but atomic numbers are different. So these kind of nuclei are called as isobars. Okay, let us move to the next one. That is isotopes. These are also the nucleus. They are having the same number of neutrons. Sir. What is same number of neutrons? A minus Z will be the same right so example is H13 and uh, helium 2, 2 4 how many number of neutrons are present 3 minus 1 2 and here 4 minus 2 is 2 number right okay let me conclude this if uh, atomic number is same that is Z is same then we call it as isotopes if mass number is same then we call it as isobars if A minus Z is same we call it as isotopes Now, let us move on to the characteristics of nucleus and we will speak over this characters under the side headings, composition, size, mass and density. Let us understand one by one. First one is about the composition. What does the nucleus consist of? Nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. So protons are positively charged, neutrons are neutrally charged and these are the particles which are present inside the nucleus and that is about the composition. Let us move on to the second one. That is about the size. How much big the nucleus? Okay, how does uh, the nucleus of the elements are compared? Here, right? Okay, let us understand. The size can be written in terms of volume. So volume of the nucleus is directly proportional to the mass number. As mass number increases, the volume of the nucleus also increases. Let us understand about that. Volume is directly proportional to the mass number. Since uh, Nucleus, we consider it as spherical in size, let me take it as 4 by 3 pi r cube, that is proportional to mass number a. This can also be written as r cube is proportional to a because this is a constant. We can write like this, r cube is proportional to a. We can, taking cube roots, r is proportional to a raised to 1 divided by 3. If you remove this proportional right, we get a constant and what is that constant again? r naught. So, what is the uh, formula for radius of the nucleus? Do you remember this? That is r is equal to r naught. A raised to 1 by 3. And what is the value of R0? It is 1.2 Fermi. Fermi is nothing but 10 raised to minus 15 meters. So I can write it as R0 equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 50 meters. And uh, this is about the size of the nucleus. Do remember the size of the nucleus depends upon the mass number. As the mass number increases, the size of the nucleus also increases. Okay, now let us go to the mass. We know that inside the nucleus, protons and neutrons are present. So let me write nuclear mass is the sum of mass of protons as well as the mass of neutrons. First of all, how many protons are present? Z number of protons are present. What is the mass of each proton? Let me call it as Mp. So let me combine this again. Z Mp. Plus, how many neutrons are present? We know A minus Z. What is the mass of each neutron? Let me take it as Mn. So, if you combine this, you will be getting the nuclear mass. That is, M is equal to ZMP plus A minus Z into what we said again? Mn. What is the mass of each proton? I have written here 1.76726 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg. It is nearly equal to 1 am mu. Okay. So, mass of neutron is okay, nearly the same. Just check it out. 1.6749 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg. If we compare this, which is heavier, neutron, you understand. Not too much heavy, just a light difference, maybe, okay? But we consider it as 1 AMU itself from now onwards. Okay, let us begin with the last uh, pro characteristics, that is the density. Density is mass by volume. Nuclear density is nuclear mass divided by nuclear volume. Okay, what is the nuclear mass? Let us check it out. If I am taking how many uh, particles are present inside the nucleus, that is number of nucleons, let me write it as A. What is the mass here? The repeat is M, right? Since both are uh, nearly same, let me write it generally, that is M, that is M into A. What is nuclear volume? We know that 4 by 3 pi r cube. We got the expression for R here, let me substitute here. So we will be getting 4 by 3 pi. So R naught cube into A, right? When we say this, A, A will get cancelled. By this, I can conclude that the nuclear density does not depend upon the mass number. It is independent of A, means density of the nucleus is 
same either it may be a small nucleus or it may be a large nucleus density is same it is similar to the density of water right if you take a drop of water or you can take a, a bottle of water the density of water is same in a similar manner if you take a small nucleus or it may be you can take a large nucleus density is same and how much is the density so by calculating this because these are all constants known here by calculating this we get the density is in the order of 10 raised to 17 do you remember this number 10 raised to 17 kg per meter cube so, what is the density of water? We know it is 1000 kg per meter cube in the similar manner. Density of the nucleus is in the order of 10 raised to 17 kg per meter cube. And this is all about the characteristics of the nucleus. Thank you.